Welcome to Erev Shabbos Kodesh Parshas Vayeshev and the Parsha Ponderable for this week. We know that in this week's Parsha and the story of Yosef and his brothers, the brothers ultimately decide to throw Yosef into a pit. The Torah describes the pit and tells us, Vahabor Reik Ein Bo Mayim, that the pit was empty and there was no water in it. In understanding this repetitious phrase, the pit was empty yet there was no water in it, Rashi points out that although there was no water in it, there were other things in it, namely, Nechashim ve'akravim. There were snakes and scorpions in the pit, and Yosef was saved only through a miracle after he was thrown into the pit by his brothers. Regarding snakes and scorpions, we can ask the following ponderable for this week. Ruvain was sitting in his home Friday evening when suddenly he felt something on his leg. He looked down and saw a poisonous scorpion climbing up the legs of his pants. Ruvain quickly shook the scorpion off and stepped on the scorpion to kill it. Ruvain now had the following question. Should he bench Gomel? After all, the scorpion's sting was very dangerous and he had obviously been spared from a dangerous situation by becoming aware of the scorpion and being able to kill it. On the other hand, the Gemara in Maseches Shabbos says that if a dangerous animal crosses your path on Shabbos and you are able to kill it, it's clear that the animal was not sent to harm you, but rather to give you the merit of saving other people from harm. Ruvain wondered, should he bench Gomel because he himself was saved, or perhaps the scorpion presented no danger to him and therefore he would not need to bench Gomel? What should he do? The answer, Emir Tzah Hashem, next week. Shabbat Shalom.